Welcome to All Hands Update. These are your headlines from around the fleet. The Navy announced in a recent NAV admin new uniform initiatives to evaluate female uniforms. As a direct result of feedback from the fleet, the Chief of Naval Personnel directed a comprehensive evaluation of women's uniform concerns. Immediate uniform design improvements have already been incorporated on a variety of uniform items, including the female officer and chief petty officer service dress coat, female slacks, and service shirts. The NAV admin also announced a program to evaluate the wear and use of the male officer and enlisted dress cover for female officers and enlisted use. A test program will begin in the spring and summer. USS Macon Island departed the U.S. 5th Fleet Area of Responsibility after conducting maritime security operations in the region. Petty Officer Stephen Doyle brings us more. The Macon Island Amphibious Ready Group departed the U.S. 5th Fleet Area of Responsibility after four months in the region. The ships assigned to Amphibious Squadron 5 with the embarked 11th Marine Expeditionary Unit conducted extensive maritime security operations and multiple bilateral military exercises with regional partners. I would say the key to our success was we focused on the mission. It wasn't a, this is one's blue and this one's green. It was blue-green and everything. The Macon Island will participate in more joint operations in the U.S. 7th Fleet AOR. The most important thing I would say from here to home is maintaining our readiness. As long as we're at sea, if there's a crisis in the world, whether it's humanitarian, whether it's major combat operations, we have to be ready to turn and come back to 5th Fleet or go somewhere in 7th Fleet where the nation needs us. Aboard USS Macon Island, I'm Petty Officer Stephen Doyle. You can read more about these stories at Navy.mil. For All Hands Update, I'm Chief Petty Officer Chris Tucker.